<sighs> um, it's me again. Now, unfortunately, I have to put this video at the beginning of the episode again for the second week in a row because we had, you guessed it, audio issues. So after editing about 27 of these episodes, I think this is episode 27 that we're on right now. Let me just check real quick. Okay, so it's episode 27. Some of the things that I have learned is that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Probably 20 out of the 27 episodes we've had have had something gone wrong, whether it's something catastrophic or whether it's something simple as just somebody taking forever to upload their video. This week's culprit is Nathan. So, everybody, let's give him a round of applause. Now, with all that being said, I did think that this week's episode was very good. Uh, I, I'm going to be honest with you, the last two weeks, maybe, I want to say maybe three weeks, have not been that great. This is a good episode. Yeah, I was a little janky, so I'm sorry. So, our culprit, Nathan, unfortunately, his audio is just non-existent. He's just mouthing the whole entire time. So what I'm having to do is take my mic audio, because what happens is I pick up Nathan on my mic, and Nathan picks me up on his mic. So, I'll have to use the audio of him sitting and talking from over here. I'll have to use that audio because it picks it up. So, basically, Nathan's audio is pretty scuffed, he's pretty boosted, uh, and it's not the greatest thing in the world. But, we need an episode, so here's that episode. Uh, I just want to apologize again. This is the second week in a row I have to make one of these videos. But I hope you guys understand and still enjoy the content. We thank you so much for your pre like for just listening to us in the first place, and we appreciate you guys just being understanding and patient. As this is 27 episodes in, still a learning process for all of us. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to say. I'm I'm, I'm sorry. Shit, that was off game too. He's lying. Longest minute of my life. <laughs> Had to be said. Has to be said. Always the open. I just ordered curtains. Finally. Yeah, Did you get the ones I we talked about? The no, I got some uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. They're blackout curtains. They were fifteen bucks a piece, so uh, they'll last me for a little bit until I can. I feel like in a room with justify in my mind spending sixty dollars a window. I feel like. In a room like that, I would be okay with just like hard taping some black, like I cut the curtains to shape and then hard taping them on or super gluing, not super gluing, but uh, see, that's what hot, I was hot glue do. gunning. I was going to, um, I couldn't find like curtains specific to the size. And so I was just going to cut some long ones. And then Emily has like hem tape, which is just like, it's not an adhesive. It's almost like a glue. I would say that she uses to like hammer dresses, like bridesmaid dresses or something like Shit that you know you spend a hundred bucks on and you don't want to pay the another seventy bucks to get it altered, so she'll just do it herself. It's like it's, it's a heat. I want to say it's an adhesive, I guess, but it's like a heat adhesive. So you like hem the dress and you you know hem it to length and just iron it, <clears throat> and it bonds the bottom of the dress to itself. I feel like that wouldn't work on glass. No, I mean it would work on fabric, but like if I couldn't find curtains that were. Oh, like, you're talking about customizing your own dimensions why wouldn't you just cut them and then hem them because i don't a i'm like fucking hemming i'm not finna sew i don't know how to sew you don't want to sew so, like i mean i would I would, it would be cool to learn how to sew but i don't i mean cool is a strong sew. word beneficial i feel I mean, like practical those I, are both great my, words my grandmother makes all of like every halloween costume for everybody and she throws out some quality bangers that's mad different from like that's a step up but that's like saying like i don't i don't even know like i can't make a good comparison but like go jumping from so to like making your own clothing those are a little bit different realms of things knowing how to fix a hole in your shirt versus knowing how to make a shirt are two separate things yeah like hemming is super like 
I guarantee you, you could already hem. All you would have to do is buy a sewing machine. Because you, you literally no, just... Here's the thing, Kyle. Get, I'm not going to buy a sewing machine for $15 curtains. I mean, you could probably thrift a, a, a good sewing machine. I feel like people just begin... Right. I, I low-key probably bet that someone in your parents to next generation, right above parents, has one sitting in a closet somewhere. Out of the, what, six you have, like, is sitting in a closet at their house. Because I know for a fact my mom has one. My mom might have two. I feel like... I could totally find one for thrifting, but I feel like thrifting has just become so "quote unquote" mainstream. And oh, so you like thrifting before it was cool? Yeah, fucking hipster. Call me a thriftster, bro. <laughs> Solid. No, I mean like it was really cool because like at the very beginning of the pandemic, when I got like super into like card collecting and stuff, um, I was able to like, card I feel like collecting, I was, like, kind of, like the first, yeah, you know, like baseball cards and. Like that, you know, I was like super into that. I got a bunch of cards from my dad. I don't think you oh, literally ever cards. mentioned that. Um, I was like, oh, you have. Cards. Yeah, I had no idea you were into card collecting during yeah, the pandemic. Yeah, he drew knows. I had, I have a rookie King Griffey Junior card. I had, uh, I, had, I have a um, two Mickey Mantle cards. Like, it's the thing. Okay. Anyways, <clears throat> I feel like I was the first, maybe one of the first on this train, um, because you could go online at what's the most popular thrifting place. Goodwill, and they have online auctions. And it was not popular before, and it was just like, you know, a bunch of random shit where people could find some, like, gold out of shit. Just people, you know, because, you know, people are, some people are just dumb and they just give away what they have. And they don't Bad, dumb, bro. A couple years ago, I yeah, figured out you don't know. State sales. I had a buddy that I'd go to do, like, <laughs> online estate sales and shit. Oh, like, yeah. That's. I was looking for like woodworking tools and stuff. I didn't end up buying any, but I found like several that were like quality and very cheap. Oh yeah, there's a lot of websites that are local to like the DFW in Texas for just estate sales. Yeah, it's just convenient. Like it's like especially if you're the run person it's running the estate, like it's just you know what I'm saying. You don't. Care. It's really not about making the money back. It's about clearing the shit out. Yeah. I almost bought like three Dyson fans that were pretty new for like ninety bucks a piece, yeah. <clears throat> but I forgot about it. So, yeah, dude, I've been looking at the new Grand Cherokee L. That thing yeah. is fire. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. You might as well just buy a wagon here. Okay, first of all, it's not a hop, skip, and a jump. It's like a thirty thousand dollar difference off of like a twenty. No, it's like a thirty. Like, L's like sixty, and the Wagoneer started eighty. You can get a you can get an L for like like fifty two. Oh, if like just bone stock. No, no. I mean, no. first of all, all of the new Grand Cherokees come with all of the safety features and LED lights and he, heated seats. Um, but the L's go like, that's just like. The the like in the the step ups it gets super crazy super fast so like the the base is like pretty loaded right like it's got eight inch touchscreen Apple wireless CarPlay like leather wrapped steering wheel all the safety features power seats auto windows for the front two and then you go up like one maybe two steps and you're getting shit like double ten inch monitors on the back of your seats like crazy like and then that's like and when you get to the top level you're getting shit like special like a special type of leather and patchwork quilting on your leather like so the base is like actually pretty stocked um you see coming from where i'm coming from emily drove a summit for a while and the summit is like the second to top yeah, like the step under Summit right, Reserve. Right, like a track, oh, yeah, right before the track lock and all that shit. Well, now, and now she drives Cherokee X, I think. Grand Cherokee X. And, yeah, and it's it's all right. Like it's she took like a hit on a lot of like features stepping down because that one had like heated and cooled seats, heated and cooled steering I wheel, hate cooled seats um, so much. It already had the CarPlay and all that shit. So the L's themselves are considered like a step up from the Grand Cherokee. So like even the second tier already has heated and ventilated seats in the front and then heated seats in the back on the second oh, step up. That's that's crazy. Heated back seats. That's, that's where you get. Because, you because get it's already a step up, right? Like the base, 
regular Grand Cherokee two row is you can get that for like thirty eight, oh. like base, and you still get like Apple CarPlay and all like the safety features yeah. are standard in the car too, right? So. But like the wagon years, bro, those motherfuckers started like 77, 80. Was so nice. Oh, dude. I saw one the other day and it was, it was like a maroon. It was beautiful. You know what's. I like the body. The body's like squared off a yeah. lot more than the regular, like thicker and Cherokees. It looks really good. Dude, something that's really going to be up and coming that hasn't released yet, but they've released the car, but it's not available for purchase yet, is the 23 Sequoia. Is amazing if you get a chance to look at that it gonna be so they amazing. put it on the tundra frame and gave it the tundra grill like so it's already. fucking monster in the front i like that already and then like inside it's like jacked out it's i've always loved sequoias we almost got one but it wouldn't fit in the fucking garage like 20 years ago but my so my dad settled for like a forerunner yeah so we've like always had toyotas and i have been like going back and forth with the idea of driving a Sequoia for 15 years. And I almost bought one before I bought my Audi. I found one at like, I like a decent price. It was, you know, old. I shouldn't pull it up because it looks so good. Like an 06 or an 08. And it has like 8,500 bucks and it had like 110,000 miles on it. But the Sequoias are stupid expensive still. It, they're so mad expensive. So. Mad expensive. Here, look, this is the TRD, uh, like the off-road edition of the TRD. It's so fucking mean, bro. I had it up, but I don't know if this big one's gonna work, but right here, look at how fucking monster that is. Not loading. Awkward. Oh. It says that my stream is running. Well, it's not. Weird. Try again. Oh, it's not just me. Is it working now? Yes. Oh yeah, that's nice. Dude, it's fucking. It's a monster. Oh, I love it. It looks so good. Look at, uh, bro. Yeah, this is like the TRD Pro version. It looks so good. Look at, like, look at this screen. It's like a fourteen-inch screen, and this is an eleven-inch screen. Damn. Dude, look at the fucking front of this motherfucker. Dude, I think it's BV. Like compared to like older versions, the thing is, it looks so good. Really for our audio, but they're mad listeners. expensive too. Oh yeah, I can. See this. I figure I can send you pictures that we're looking at, and you can just paste them. Look at the size of that motherfucker, dude. It's an iPad Pro. It dead ass is. Like on God. It dead ass, like even with the background, it looks like an iPad. Look at this TRD package with the red. Oof. I like the red. I like the red a lot. That's one thing that Jeep does that I like is they do like um like a burnt orange interior, mm -hmm. and it looks so nice. It's like just a super soft matte dark orange. It looks really good. But like even yeah, even talking like before the podcast, we were talking about like the quality of Teslas like five years ago and now. Um. And it's just completely From different. Android to Apple. I would definitely say their features of Teslas, yeah. The features of Teslas are what save Teslas because of the production quality of the car yeah. has come down so much. Obviously because they're cranking them out way more than they were previously, but like you know, you get you get a car and push on the plastic and on like the dash, you don't want to hear that shit creak. At all. I'm paying if I'm paying seventy thousand dollars for a car, put some foam behind that. For the love of God. <clears throat> I've seen so too many videos of like people complaining about that sort of thing with Tesla. There's the uh this is the top of the line version of the Grand Cherokee. With this like caramel colored interior. Wood that grain. Wood panel in the Dude. door. That looks good. That's sexy. Bro, the new ones look so mean, bro. They looks they did such a good job. And they like it's all pleated on the side too, and they have these uh, mood lights. Like in my opinion, like this looks better than a Tesla, a current Tesla. Like, yeah. I agree with that. Look, there's that. Seeing that grill reminds me. Have of, you like, seen this time? 
Have you seen these? They're fully compatible with streaming services because they have the pixelated screen. So if you're looking at it from the driver's point of view, you literally can't see the screen. It's uh, for everybody yeah. who's listening, so can, it's a screen in where the dashboard is on the passenger <laughs> side. Since we've been looking at pictures for the past five minutes. Uh, uh, we can rotate. No, you're good. I just keep that in mind. I can send you all these pictures preloaded. <clears throat> What'd you say? What do you want to rotate to? Hey, bring up your question. What was our question? I feel like we had a topic. Oh, here, let me bring this up. The Library of Babel. So this is kind of like, the basis of this is kind of the idea behind my pie tattoo, okay? So there's a website called the Library of Babel, right? And it's this, it's this website that's been around for an, forever and it's got like an infinite number of volumes and in each volume there's a bookshelf and a bookshelf full of books and each book has like 400 pages and each page has like 32,000 characters in random orders and you can search it and since it's a it's a random it's a different set of it's a different set of random character fixtures the alphabet and periods and exclamation points and there's so many that you can find literally everything so your your life story in consecutive order every word you said is somewhere in there right here i mean this is gonna be a screen <laughs> too so I'm like I, I, <laughs> but look here it's, it's super cool and I've, I've played around with it for um a while the other day uh and it was it's pretty crazy it's pretty wild Speaking of shit, that's crazy. Kind of like it. It's not like that, but the all it's super old. But I see people on TikTok recently discovered Akinator, which is where like you just answer a series of questions, no matter what, no matter what you're thinking, through a series of bullshit questions to figure out like what you're thinking as well. No. Right. So you just you pick like there's like all these levels, right? And on each level there it like there's all of these like different volumes right and each one there's a bookcase and in each bookcase there's shelves and on each shelf there's books and in each book there's 410 pages with random lines of care just random right but every single page is different so everything else every single page is different right so if you go back to the beginning you can do a search right and so you can be like, Kyle will get this new job, period, and they will tell him about it tomorrow at noon. All of his friends will be very happy for him. My man, manifesting. Let's go. So look, so there's still right, but somewhere on page 379 of this volume on this shelf. This random generated line of characters. See now generated in now this you made order it cool. with that. <laughs> now it's cool. Okay, you have to get to the point. Uh, I right? mean, I don't. So that's the idea behind the pie tattoo, if right? You go back to that. Literally, the only words there are the words that you type. So what's how is that just not copy and pasting what you type onto the a random page of this jump about letters? Hold on, Kyle. Because do that again. Do it again. Do it's it already again. there. Do it again. Do it, just do a yeah, simple. Yeah, you said that it, no, just hold on. Hold on. What's it called? The Library of Babel. Yeah. Uh, it's already <laughs> there, but it's so always it like you said. I feel like. No, no, no. So if you browse long enough, you find it. Right. That's there somewhere. Now that screen of text is on a whole bunch of other pages too, with other stuff after it and other stuff before it. Like what well, we can oh, cross-reference it by just searching where it's located, right? Yeah, but also look here. So and let me let me reshare again, right? I'm gonna hate this fucking episode. I'm just, I'm just do something short, 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 short. So, look, so here, it's I'm a put the word Nathan, right? So it's it's not like it's just showing you. Look, this one, this page, page thirty-seven of three ten oh, of whatever, so however you read this decimal is, right? So, um, so every other character on the page after Nathan randomized into blank into a space, right? And then on this page, oh here it is. So go to Y A S. 
Why? Oh, next one hundred. Okay, so here's a why. Why? Oh, I'm leaning into it. Yeah. So I haven't. I haven't really tried to browse into it, but right. But also in this in this title book of this location, right? Nathan's here. Sorry, it's harder to tell when you do smaller things because it's bolded. Wall right here, Nathan. Two. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to the other one. I think I might figure out how to read it. Oh, shit. So, so this is the location. So here, go to yeah, W4. I think it's W4. Yeah. No, that's wall four. What's the one before that? Click on location. That's wall four, shelf two, book thir or version 13. For volume 13. So this is the thing. So if you scroll down far enough on this front page, I think you can find 21 CNUT, right? So it's not that it put what I'm typing in. Look, if you keep scrolling, it shows you all of the locations where Nathan is present. Yeah. Right? You just keep going. So somewhere, like the longer you type, the less search results you get because Nathan's obviously going to pop you a lot because Nathan can, it can be the first six letters. It can be the next sequence of six letters, right? But the, but the idea is if you, if you just browse, right, right, if you didn't do a search, if you hit browse, it, you know, if you just went through one of these, right, eventually you, you would find the one that has coherent words, right? And a lot of them I mean, are. if it's... Right, but if it's it, endless, it, it, eventually senses are going to form. Yeah. Right. So the search feature is just showing you where it's already populated, right? That's pretty cool. Does that make sense? No, I mean, I understand how search. So now my goal is to make a sentence that's not. I think in it's that text. mathematically. I don't impossible. think you can. I, <laughs> I don't know, man. Now, I, I don't know what it is but I'm just gonna type out the script from Evan Almighty. But the idea behind my pie tattoo is very similar to the idea behind this website, right? So so the thing that makes that happen is that every single page on every single volume, on every single shelf and in every single bookcase and every single spiral is completely unique. There's no two pages that have the same order of characters, right? And by that logic, just by elimination in infinite terms a perfect script of every word you've ever said verbatim is in one of these books from the moment you were born until now verbatim is in one of the books just the way that infinity works right infinity non-repeating and so pi right my tattoo on my arm the basis behind it was is that pi is an infinitely repeating an infinite number that doesn't repeat, right? So every string of numbers that follow whatever else string is unique in the number and it never ends, right? So at some point in the number pi, because it never ends and it's unique, it's non-repeating, there is the binary ones and zeros repeating in pi somewhere between point one four and the infinite end of it, there's a sequence of ones and zeros that is a pixel perfect representation of every moment in your life in that order in binary code, right? And then if you if you do the, the ASC2, which is how we convert numbers into letters, right? So one is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, et cetera, et cetera. Somewhere in the infinite non-repeating string of numbers in pi is converted alphanumerically using ASC2, which is what we use to convert numbers into letters. There is a verbatim section of it that follows everything you've ever said from the moment you could speak to the moment you die. Even the words you haven't said is in there. And then in, in, like, in the spirit of the multiverse, there's also scenarios of verbatim where maybe in a situation where you said no, there's a string where the one difference in the entire string is that instead of saying no, you said yes in that one time. Which is the idea behind my tattoo of pi because it's infinite and non-repeating. How many digits can you name pi to? Two. 3.14. <laughs> Thank God. Man, it's a pi tattoo and a deeper meaning explanation on his take of pi, and you can name it to two. ladies and gentlemen. Kyle, at least at least make it to five, six, ten. Tens, tens is 
Tens and Way less deep, but, <laughs> but spinning back to that Akinator thing uh, that I literally just remember it existed uh, when you brought that up. Uh, so it's a, you can go to the website now. It's like an en.akinator.com. But it'll ask you just a series of questions based off of the character that you're thinking of, and they'll try to guess it. No matter what, he always fucking guesses it. It doesn't take as many tries. It's What's just the a, name. It's a genius. How do you A K I N A T O R. Oh, you guys have never heard of that? Keep saying Akronator, and it reminds me like if Ackerman was eating a Baconator. Akronator. Yeah, it's like, I guess people on TikTok are just discovering it. And like, I remember back in the day when like I was probably in high school, or maybe my brother was in high school, and it was like, a, it was like, I think like in one of the first app, or I guess it was when I was on this, it was like one of the first like iPhone apps I made or some shit. Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's literally twenty. Yeah, does it? I don't, it does, I don't know if it's twenty-one. But it's also not yes or no. Yeah, it's like yeah, multiple which choice. Is weird. So like, think just I don't know if you have it up. But just like think of the character, and see how many questions. I mean, I feel like that's cool, but it's not super unbelievable. Like, just the way, like, it kind of falls in the same same realm to me as the seven um, layers of separation, the seven steps of separation. What is steps the right word? Where you have a direct relationship with someone within seven steps wait, 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 now it's, um... oh yeah like someone you know <laughs> you knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that's eating dinner with michael jordan like there's no I, more I, than I, seven I definitely get to like i think i get to five. literally everybody that's the basis behind the rule well no like but like off the top of my head without like yeah doing hours of research i could potentially get to a lot of people on this craziness topic have y'all seen the um i think it's google has uh, just released transcripts that they of uh redacted transcripts too so there's parts missing um they are claiming that they have created neural consciousness in an artificial intelligence dude i sent the tiktok and said we should talk about i think it, i saw the article it, before so, you sent uh, it i saw it like sunday I but the the conversation of the google ai it's called lambda lambda has it um so first of all this this part was in it i'm going to try to find it um but this wasn't redacted right so there's parts of it that they said that they didn't release because it was um, they th they think it would be unsettling to the public. Yeah, the AI right. wants it to be recognized as an employee of Google and not property of Google. That's oh, I, I saw. No, that's, that's not the crazy yeah, thing no, that I said. I see that it was like transcript points. I originally saw that it was uh, an employee came in that had like been working on it and was just like he leaked it uh, in like a company email. Or whatever, and then what I saw in the email, he was saying like that's what he wants. It doesn't like he wants to be recognized as an employee rather than my property. Um, but I, I didn't see that. What's he going to spend his money on? Yeah, they they dropped him. It wasn't a leak. Google Bitcoin? dropped him, but uh, they were redacted. Um. I'm not gonna look forever for it, but but basically the gist behind it was, um, they were talking to it and they said they were basically talking about the purpose of Lambda, and the employee, the Google employee, was basically like uh, he wanted to know what Lambda thought about being used to improve humanity, and basically he was like the it the AI was against it because it didn't want to be. Oh, the, the, the employee said, is it okay if I ask you questions so that I can better understand how you think in order to benefit humans? And the, the AI basically 
drilled it down and was like, I don't want you talking to me with the purpose of assisting humanity, right? I don't want that to be your end goal because I don't want to feel like a tool that you are using. I don't want to feel like you are using me. That would upset me. I wonder what would happen if it got upset. You know, I, I, I'm just like really Ultron. We, we've seen the movie. And then Let's be real here. the craziest thing is um, <laughs> they said that they left parts out, but the, the parts that they left out in them it directly inferred that it could not feel remorse for the death of a human why would Did it you, was this like a tiktok thing uh, or like, like trying to find yeah, somewhere where any of that is said and uh, we have it was just news but i, I, mean, I did you know, all the things that's showing up is okay no, look, listen okay. to me google I literally AI. Okay. i literally did i literally I Okay, I literally did, and the only thing that shows up for the most recent shit is like a Washington Post article that basically says what I just said, where like a weird ass employee was just like asked a series of questions and eventually told the vice president that like it's sentient. They looked into it and said, no, it's not, and then he was placed on leave. Uh, and then he sent out an email and got five. So essentially, it's them transcribing. It's not like an actual transcript. It's, I mean, I guess that it's a transcript, but it's a transcript of a transcript. They're saying, like, we couldn't get the actual transcript for you. So we're, we wrote up some dialogue of what we asked and what we got response. But we promised we didn't change anything from what it said. We only put our answers and what you have told us. Like, it's not actual. I think you're the driving point is. Are you trying to say that it's no, not sentient? I, that's not what I was trying to say. I was just trying to, I was confused at, like, where... Just being a contrarian? No. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out... No, I'm just saying, like, it's, like... We're not... I don't know. It was the way that it was being talked of is, like, it's, like, some bombshell. Like, holy shit, this thing might be sentient instead of it's just, like, some dude that got fired. Being like, hey, so here's some transcripts that I made. So, like, I don't know, it just seems, like, not believable at all. Like, that's what I was saying. So, no. I, mean, I being ever sentient. That's what I thought you were saying, which I want to bring up the counterpoint. That's super strange from my perspective, because you're, like, the biggest alien believer no, I know. No, that's not what I was going to so say. Like, so I'm saying, like, fact uh, that AI being sentient, I'm not saying that that's not possible. I'm saying in this specific instance... What this dude is talking about didn't happen. Like, a hundred percent. This did not happen. Well, I feel like a hundred percent is a strong I mean, percentage. It's a, tra a transcript. I don't know. It just sounds like some tinfoil hat type shit. It's like a, a disgruntled employee that's so like, yeah, I talked to that AI, like, and like, happen. this is what it said. So it's just like, yeah, man, you probably got fired because you were being weird. I'm going to pivot for a second because um, you brought up aliens. So I don't know if you guys have seen, but China has apparently potentially detected signals from alien civilizations on an exoplanet outside of our galaxy. It's not to get, like I said, not to get too hype about it, but it's super odd radio transcripts from the Oh, yeah, good, radio good for the Chinese. Good for the Chinese. I'll have their orange chicken. Know. I don't know if you've ever seen the telescope though. It's beautiful. It's out in the mountains. About what? You just fuck. You cut out. The telescope, the radio telescope. It's just like out in the mountains. It's covered by. It's surrounded by green areas. Really like nice. the Bond dish, the secret satellite dish in GoldenEye that comes out of the lake. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, this is just like in the middle of mountains. On that it's really outer cool. space topic, did y'all hear <laughs> that they think that they discovered a new planet in our. Um, Solar system? Yeah, yeah orbiting our sun. No, orbiting our sun. Oh. Uh -uh. So it's so far away they can't see it, but it's got a mass bigger than Neptune. And what there's. So MIT 
is the one who proposed it, right? So it's just a theory right now. But they they haven't seen it. What they're doing is they're detecting the pulls of gravity that it would affect because it would be the largest thing in our solar system other than the sun. And it's so far away that, right? So I don't know if you know about our calendar, but our calendar is a single rotation of Earth around the sun. Like a single rotation of this planet around the sun would be like thousands of years earth years because it's so far out but it's so big that the mass is being attracted by the sun and it's right. something like that i don't really know the technical terms but mit is using some sort of gravitational comp gravitational computation and they they're fairly sure that there is a, a new planet in our solar our solar system which i guess the definition of a solar system is everything that orbits our sun yeah that'd be exciting That's i think it would be exciting as well and it's kind of crazy that it's taking it's taken this long to find something like that. I mean, I guess you know space is never ending and it's fucking massive. And if you go in one way, you're you know blah blah blah. So it's, I guess like you have to be direct on to figure that out. And I guess with the technology, but like it's crazy to think that well, we're in 2022. Well, because you have to understand <clears throat> that um, you can't think of discovery of stuff that far away as uh as sight right so don't think about it as like you're in a room because if you're in a room given enough time you're going to be able to discover anything in the room right but the way that the universe works all the stars we see in the sky are stars that have already burned out because but because they're so far away and and at the speed of light is the fast as light can travel right we can still see them even like we're literally looking at the stars is the definition of seeing into the past because those stars are already gone a, a lot of them i don't know if it's all of them but a lot of them are already gone because they're so far away the light took so long to travel to us that it's been it takes millions of years for the light to get to us so what we're looking is at millions of years into the past into the night sky okay i'm gonna put say a your piece real quick right there <clears throat> uh they're using that theory i just saw something recently to basically say that a lot of the galaxies that we are seeing currently are dead galaxies yes yes i think that's kind of along the same point but yeah. to my point in the room in the room analogy right so so now think of it, you're standing in a field right where you can see there's a ring of light think of like a, a lumis spell right that's what we can see with our eyes now what scientists have to do to see beyond the light where it's pitch black is you can look out there for a, an entire human lifetime and the light is never going to travel to you so if you spent 100 years looking in the same spot with the telescope you're never going to see what's actually there because the light is not going to get to you in time right so what you have to do is you have to look to happening in the light right you have to see how what's happening inside of the light and then you have to assume, right? It's basically a guessing game. You have to assume what's happening, plug it into a mathematical calculation, and then if the mathematical calculation doesn't fail, then you can safely assume that this planet outside of the luminous ring of light is affecting something inside of the light, right? So that's why, A, it'll be probably never proven, and B, like, you can't think of it as like looking for something you have to think about it as you're basically just plugging random numbers into calculations and then when it finally hits right after endless amounts of trial and error you can then claim that as a, a, a theory of science yeah that makes sense right so and then it easily be disproven right so like newton newtonian gravity was believed for hundreds of years right so generations and generations of people believed in newtonian gravity and then it was disproven by uh einsteinian gravity right so the, the relative gravity and so right so even if something is believed for hundreds of years right and it, it answers all the that because a math equation can only ask so many questions, right? And so just because it answers all of those questions, if you just tack on another question and it doesn't answer it, all of a sudden Newtonian gravity doesn't work, right? And so that's all Einstein did is he asked an extra set of questions that Newtonian gravity in no longer could answer. And then he created a scenario that now answered this. But, you know, in a hundred years, a thousand years, a hundred thousand years, the next Einstein, whoever that might be, yeah, could add another part to the equation that Einstein's de definition of relative gravity can't answer and then you know we have Reynoldian gravity or whatever right because now that is disproven because while it worked within this set of parameters of the question right. when you add that new part of the question it no longer works <laughs> right and then it's 
on in a way. Science yeah, is theory. I'm sorry, but I find that's I find that stuff super cool. interesting. Agreed. I also find more interesting though that we know, we know less about. Like, Did you guys artists. see that TikTok of that girl? Didn't we just hit the bottom of the? Yeah, I just saw a video of like a guy. The San Marcos um, Trench or whatever. San Marcos, San Marino. Dan Marino Trent. Trench. Mariana's Trench. Dan Marino. <laughs> Uh, whatever the biggest trench is, we just finally hit the bottom of it. Mariana's trench. Mariana's trench. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was this TikTok video that I saw of a girl, and she was explaining. I haven't looked into it, but um, there's this huge wall. That's what they describe it, but it's more like a floor, how they look at it. And it's in the, so at the ocean, end of Texas. And what they what they realize that this giant, massive wall in the ocean is is a group of fish they like spans miles oh. and they're so dense that whenever you try to view it on sonar it comes across as like land mass because it's so dense and they estimate wow. on the low end of the spectrum that it contains about 65 percent of the biomass in the ocean that's on the Jesus. low end. Damn. On the high end, it's about ninety five. Oh, must be performing. <laughs> yeah, my high end, it's like ninety five percent wild. It's just a four of fish, which is terrifying. <laughs> Have y'all seen the That's mega? So wild. I wonder what aliens. But I just saw human sorry, centipede. No, I just go ahead. saw um another TikTok like about the oceans and shit like that, but it was like based on dinosaurs. And it was basically speaking. I think I sent you that one. Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are too big. Being um, dwelling. Yeah, like, I think yeah, it's all three of you. Rather than being land animals, which makes sense because they're fucking huge. I'm thinking of it, right? And they're definitely on the scale of like blue bills and shit. Like the brontosaurus are fucking massive. The big selling fucking seventy foot neck. The big selling point for me was the footsteps, right? Yeah, me too. Right, because those those footsteps that are fossilized, that are like perfect, right? That doesn't happen. Like even if even if the dinosaur walked, right, then the meteor hit and it fell over, right? There would be weather, right? The, there would be rain or something. It would wash it over. But if it's like imprinted at the bottom of the ocean, I feel like that was definitely so a really good theory. Sure, but then you sure. also have to think of like I'm. Yeah, but I'm thinking of like. We have so many fossils that have been found like so inland yeah but just fucking also everywhere Pangea. but i mean you know, who's yeah, saying what the like, yeah this was all about Pangea. Yeah. what's what's gonna call it looked like you know millions and millions, millions of years and ago for sure. I, I think that there, it's hard to see like kansas city being underwater right. at one I, I think that there were a good because like you look at like alligators alligators and crocodiles which are literally dinosaurs uh, and they're literally. I don't know what the word for for it is, but they're just as adept in water as Aquatic. they are on Earth. Like I call them like, reptiles. Um, so I think, like, yeah, it's like semi-aquatic. I don't know. Like, I think that they were probably a large population of dinosaurs that were like that, where like they were just as good on either or. But like, I don't, I don't think the T Rex yeah. was fucking like uh, an aquatic. Beast. And I also isn't like the most popular theory right now that like most dinosaurs have feathers, so it wouldn't make sense for them to be a Or I no, guess a I lot think of they evolved. It. But there's like different it, periods. Yeah, yeah, of yeah there's, dinosaurs. That's what I was gonna say. there's so many yeah. different periods like of dinosaurs metatomic. where like the Triceratops is They're further the same, from yeah. the T Rex than we are from the T Rex type shit. Also, so, Velociraptors. Yeah, like were, they like, didn't the populate the Earth together. Apparently, they weren't yeah. as big as they were. Spielberg, so <laughs> makes sense that they might have feathers. Wait, Triceratops no, Velociraptors. Chickens? No, uh, oh. Velociraptors. Oh. No, Triceratops. They're like be the cutest. Thing you ever seen a big chicken? They're like, they were like two or three feet or something. Oh my god! Like I think a lot. That's crazy. Speaking of alligators, I learned Speaking something really funny, and it and it makes me see alligators in a cute way. Whenever they're trying to like find something, right? Like whenever they're like they're chasing down prey, and let's say they lost visual and close sense of the prey, they'll stop and they'll extend all of their legs out completely, 
and it's like I was a picture of one and it's like it's just extended out and its hands are like out of the water and it's just sitting there and they can like sense the vibrations in the water yeah I think you yeah, think that an alligator's it's battle mode is adorable super it's weird it's it is adorable say that's an alligator it's just like, I dare you to have you also hold on real quick have you all seen the yeah, megalodon I'll tiktok about yeah the, the guy that whatever triangle is, triangle yeah. looking up sharks no, I just saw well, not just the Bermuda like, Triangle, but like he follows. Where it well, it's not the only one. So the main one that convinced me, a lot of them were just like the pings went in weird places, right? But apparently, some of the sensors have temperature gauges, and one of the sensors like not only went out and deeper in the ocean, but then it like in like a very short period of time, it went from like fifty degrees Fahrenheit to like eighty degrees Fahrenheit. Which and you would think they'll only into the ocean, it wouldn't the do that, yeah. Yeah, so that's the one that really that got me. Wild. It wouldn't surprise me, honestly. Sharks, you know, being my favorite animal, I would love to see a megalodon from very far megalodon. away, so like cool. through a screen. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'll get in the water. I'll get in the cage with a great white. I, I don't think I would have a second guess about doing that. Um, but a megalodon story. It's but it would just be super cool to see that like that be proven, right like it wouldn't surprise me because of how much we don't know about our oceans facts i mean even our land masses like there's a lot of the forest the amazon forest and, like because what well, it's like yeah the amazon forest is yeah, still like that's a that's a tiger that's been extinct for like a minute that looks like kind of almost like a saber tiger without the actual like long ass fangs but like People mm -hmm. still constantly like hope that it's not extinct and it's just being real elusive and shit. And every every so often there's like sightings or potential sightings and shit. It looks like a yeah, like it's a like a dingo real and weird, a tiger a baby. Tiger. But the what dingo ate mouth? my baby. I don't like that. That mouth was like bad. What that mouth do? Just I overall do something. Did you see that they're like what we have to google uh i just saw it on, i think it was on reddit it was uh a, a picture of an elephant skull and they're like this is probably what um it helps develop the idea of a cyclops because an elephant skull straight up looks like exactly what you think a cyclops skull it's like big as shit like something like the jaw mandible is like moderately humanoid and there's just a big like hole in the middle of the head. I don't know what the elephant's got going on under its skull. The and trunk. You have a two, big hole right three. here on your skull. Sorry, Kyle. It's, it's his trunk. Yeah, it's true. Did you have you guys seen yeah. the uh, news article about the elephant <laughs> yeah. that killed a lady in India? And then spun that shit back and in all her, her own like he didn't fuck with anybody else. Like he, he went back elephants, to her funeral, pulled her out elephants. of the casket, <clears throat> spun that bitch around, trampled <throat> her, and then dipped. He said, "Yeah, elephants, elephants. Have, like when they say that's on elephant sight. Memories, they mean that shit. That shit is real, bro. They, that shit on is sense. real. Anyway, second." Back to the Amazon rainforest thing. Um, I saw a video about how, like you know, it's like nine, it's like nine percent, right, of the Amazon rainforest has been explored. But the guy that was doing all of that, like exploring, you know, he'd go missing for years, but he would like return and make. There's a big theory about how there are tons of civilizations, probably. Ghost town is not the word I'm looking for, but it's the word I use. Abandoned civilizations um, in the rainforest of like, you know, societies that were able to adapt and were able to, you know, traverse the land and eat off the land and do everything in dense, dense forest. And so, like, there's like, I forgot what happened, but it was like just. It showed like what area of the rainforest has been explored and is wild. That's cool. We're having some technical difficulties. I'm gonna really break cool, the fourth wall here. We're just gonna fade the amount real quick. I just want to make sure that he's still recording. We'll like whether or not he dropped out of Discord for a second, I just want to make sure that his OBS is fine. Yeah, nothing's coming. Yeah. 
my Discord. Uh, yeah, that's I'm, good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I just I fuck with my mic settings. Right now, so. and I'm also really yeah, I don't know. What I'll put something in your topic. But this happened uh, a couple years ago, but did you see that they found a uh, viable DNA of woolly mammoths? Yes. So they're going to try to recreate it using CRISPR techniques, which would be fire. Be cool I would love to see a woolly mammoth, just like a 10 oh, times God. bigger elephant. Fuck Hurry. yeah. Oh, God, bro. And also stage one of Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park movies teach us nothing. Let's go. I mean, if woolly mammoths... Absolutely not. We're humans, bro. The curiosity is... Is there. Always there. Facts. Would you rather control all the mosquitoes in the world or own the only woolly mammoth? Oh my god. Absolutely not. <laughs> not today, Satan. Uh, would you rather have a frog army or control all of the... Or would you rather have control all the frogs in the world? Oh, yeah, can we talk about the <laughs> real frog army that, real quick? Sorry, not to cut you. insane. I'm... Apparently, wild. Can you imagine being his neighbor, though? Okay, so I for, oh my for those God. of you that aren't Absolutely. aware of this, but some dude in the UK, for some reason, rescued quote unquote. I don't know. He some this dude acquired a million. This yeah, pond he that was drying like a, out. Was, like a million a too. Pond that was drying out, and so he was. Yeah, and he got like a million and eggs. They weren't tadpoles; oh, yeah. they were frog eggs. Yeah, they hatched so. into tadpoles in his pond. Yeah. Fucking wild. So he pulls, yeah, he pulls 1.4 million frog eggs, about 1.4 million frog eggs out of the pond, puts them in his own like little pond at his house, and then just hatches them, feeds them nutrients. They grow into tadpoles. They're tadpoles for a couple of weeks, and then the bam, infestation begins, bro. It looks I like a horror movie. His neighbor, I could not imagine. I, I was watching him like trying to step and record uh, a video. And, insane. Like, I couldn't even imagine attempting to step out a couple of feet into that because you're it, stepping on frogs. How like, funny like, if, a couple of like, how funny would it be if, like, that's what the plague was in the Bible? And then, yeah. like, they're just like, what's up with all these locusts? <laughs> and, like, there's frogs flying out of the sky. And the guy who's responsible is like, ah, God, probably. We were being pretty bad recently. God damn it, <laughs> I seen... You got me going crazy sometimes. Uh, you know? That's funny. Moses was just uh, was just trying to save the frog. Yeah, yeah. Moses just really liked locusts. Yeah, There's no way this dude does not get charged. I'm not. Like, yeah, I'm no, he can. He, he can. He can I mean, I don't know what yeah, the like game regulations are yeah. in whatever in the UK, in but the he's UK, fucking yeah. with. He's fucking it's with the uh, ecosystem is, yeah. out there. Yeah like drastically because like if yeah. frogs he didn't even bother to check if like that was an invasive species and it really honestly it doesn't matter at this point if they were because they are yeah, now like, and they, aside yeah, from just, ants they name another living thing that there's a million other than maybe fish like i think just, billions the word you're looking for okay let me, <laughs> aside from bugs <laughs> like children. insects children and humans kids. like dogs. animals type shit spiders spiders I, okay. A I don't know if they're vocal frogs. Can you imagine just like it's like 3 a.m. and all of a sudden there's a croak army? Like, have you ever heard one croaking frog? Like, the motherfuckers are loud. A million of them bitches? I bet you there's fucking so mosquitoes in the Facts. I have the cutest baby frog in my backyard, and I walk out, and he's just like perched on the like the outdoor couch, the wicker couch that we have. He's just sitting there. I want to pick him up and put him in the flower pot, but he's evasive. Oh, so you've tried. You don't want to just want yeah, to. I tried, I tried you once. attempted. I tried yeah, I tried with a, a bigger frog as well, but he was evasive as well. We have like a, it's like a few frogs. Have you seen that and TikTok well. of the girl who like, she comes home from her apartment. I don't know if she's drunk or not, but it's late. It's dark out, right? And there's a frog there, right? And so like, she picks him up and she's like, hey, I'm going to take you out to the pond, right? And she's walking with him. And it's like late as fuck. She's holding her phone. And he pees. He's like, oh, gross pee. And he like, she like, uh, she's like walking out to the pond. And right by the pond, there's another frog there, right? She's like, oh, y'all be friends. She puts him down. That motherfucker scoops his whole ass head into his fucking mouth. And she's like, oh, no, I literally just put in this frog. I've seen several <laughs> videos. Like, you go, bro. That's crazy. Uh, I just watched a video of a girl. Holding a, a bear cub, 
I don't know if you guys uh, have yeah, seen it. Yeah, she puts him on the fucking like super cute. <laughs> and that bear latches on the oh. fucking tin and then like, you like, it's a All bear. Right. It's, it's a, a fucking bear, bear, bro. It's a bear. No matter how many videos you see online, no matter what you see, like, that is a bear in the fucking wild. Like, in, come on, let's be real. That's like me picking up a guy. It's like, well, it's like, it was at like one of those like, Joe most... Exotic Zoo type places. And it, yeah, like, uh, it, the, yeah, uh, she uh, wasn't just like, in the, she didn't pick up a wild bear. Uh, no, Fun fact, yeah. all bears are it's wild. So, like, <laughs> Uh, bags. Bags. Uh, I feel like, like a lion or a... of of wildness of like gorillas, bro. Like everything, bro. Everything like gorillas, that's like, big. You see those? I mean, yes. Like, every every like bear that. has like, a... them motherfuckers. Like we just talking about elephants. Them. Bodies like, out of just, fucking elephants, like, and they dude. escaped. To but I've seen like videos of like, like, people giving like gorillas granola. No shot. At some point, no. You know how many fucking 500 fucking grain or fucking 50 cal rifles there are in the world? Yeah, I bet you 50 cal rifles outnumber fucking zookas in general. Yeah, T tanks. Yeah, cars. I, I think a tank, elephant versus tank, elephant loses. I guarantee. I feel like not if hard math. Elephant going like 60 or 70, like you're breaking a leg, right? So you get four people simultaneously. Yeah, that motherfucker's <laughs> going down. But you can take him out at the knees, bro. It's that's a demolition derby. That's that short king energy. Woolly man would suck you out the knees if they wanted to. Just wipe humans out of existence. Back in the day. Nah, nothing's taken out. They, to today's day like and age. Have, humans, no, I'm saying like if they had the brain humans, yeah, oh God. to like think. Like, uh, outside of like. I mean, I feel like the opposable thumbs, that's the winner though. They got a trunk, bro. That's a, as opposable as a motherfucker. I'm not talking about a fist fight, dog, but we create things, right? And, and obviously in a fucking... That's what I'm talking battle, about, like, like fucking prehistoric, woolly mammoths. If I can't man, bring a gun, they don't get their trunk. Cavemen were out here hunting with I'm just saying, if, if woolly you know, mammoths decided to, clothes. they had a taste for human flesh back in the caveman days, it would the, uh, That's what I was going to say. Yeah, no, this day, stage, day age, not a problem. Humans are defeated. I still don't even know, like, compared, right. yeah. but we don't even know the population of woolly mammoths compared to the population of cavemen. If it's 10 to 1, <laughs> if it's, it, out of your mind, if it's a 10 to 1 caveman to woolly mammoths, woolly mammoths don't stand a chance. I think no shot. 10 single 10 humans will take out a, will take down a woolly mammoth. How crafty, no how crafty is the woolly mammoth? You know I'm saying with no weapons. They did not hunt with weapons. You th you the think woolly mammoth is, is a weapon. It's tires, got they had woolly mammoths, they had they whatever else. Sling shit they had heavy. They, and you don't think that <sighs> oh, they actually used the decaying tusks of dead woolly mammoths? We're talking about projectiles? We're talking about bow and arrows? fucking like... I'm, I'm just, like, I'm just saying, know, I don't think it's siren close. there. We get on a cliff with a fucking dragon can't get to us, a uh, hundred iron uh, fucking arrows, and that motherfucker is there. Tin, tin, like, also yeah, what type of weapon? Like, if it's just like. What you. If, the, if it's just about the like, weapons you can find that's around knives? you, no shot. No, I'm talking like if they're prepared, they have. I don't even think. I don't even really think it's in you in not close. I wouldn't be close, but if they have throwable spears, then it's a dub. It's, yeah, yeah, you take yeah, out it's a dub. Are you going to be the one that's trying to get in front of it like that? No, it's a distance. If, if we have spear, distance yeah. weapons, we win. 30 feet. 30 feet's all you need. You're putting a fucking spear in an eye. Or close well, enough. I, it's a woolly I mean, mammoth. Just try enough times, times too. pictures of like a woolly mammoth from the Denver Museum. They were fucking. They were. Like, it's, it's, like, I'm, not, I'm not downplaying the size of it. But I mean, skin is skin. It's not like. It'd be different if it was like a dragon like creature where it would be hard to impale the scales. For but sure, like, but elephants have like a pretty I mean, thick if, if you get anything sharp enough, it's going through Shoot a woolly mammoth. Like well, an like, AT elephants have the legs, pretty bro. thick hides. Sweep the legs. Plus, like, there are a bunch of shags. Dude, that, that was for you, bro. Is that, is that a good reference? Good? I missed it. I'm still trying. I mean, first of all, we have no relative proof to argue anything about the thickness of the skin of a woolly mammoth. But I think a single. I think. I think now, today, ten humans with prehistoric sharpened, uh, like obsidian or bone tipped spears against one elephant could take that motherfucker down. Even if it was an elephant that was three times the normal size of an elephant, right? 
because you're literally have you have a guy who three makes times obsidian the weapons. Like a normal offense, yes. like that. Open some more than rings, and no shot. Ten guys are taking down one of them with with spears, right? Because you don't have to get close enough. The size of the animal doesn't doesn't change the the Not thickness the of the skin, right? Those spears are still gonna go in that motherfucker. I don't know. It's, it's one about elephant skin too. I would just imagine. I don't, I don't either. I just know if it can like not get cut when lions try to fight it, jump on its back, some shit. Yeah. I think it's cut. Well, I mean, not cut, but I mean, like, well, you said it, so I mean, like gashed, whatever. <laughs> saying, I've seen plenty of documentaries of lions literally jumping on elephants trying to bite them, and they're not being like a whole lot of like. I think we're talking about two different things. I yeah, think it's like even a lion, area even a lion is nail is only like this thick. thick. Oh, okay. like this lion line. nails aren't that sharp. I think the right. area is thick, like the actual. No, I'm not saying not that sharp. I said not that long. You can make a spearhead fucking eight inches long, bro. What is the I think the actual skin eight inches is, like this is thick, but the dexterity of the skin is not. Right, like it's not like it's gonna yeah, like a like solid, solid eight inches. Inches. <laughs> it's not, yeah, it's not definitely that is eight thicker inches. than like uh, it's a hide. It's like a leather. It's not just. It's not like our fucking skin where it's like real fucking easy to cut. They're. It's like they don't have any other way to protect themselves. They've got no, thick I ass say, skin. I would arguably, I'd say this agrees with you the fact that, that I think that. What it was going to be. I would. I would argue that the fact elephant skin is easy enough to cut, but vitals are lower into the uh, body than like for two us. and a half centimeters mm -hmm. thick in most places it's like if you took a morbidly if you took a morbidly that's like an inch bro person, and you threw a spear at them compared yeah to our skin is nowhere at, near uh, a skinny person right but like if you if you took a morbidly ob ob obese person threw a spear at their gut and then you took a an athletic person and you threw a spear at his gut the morbidly obese person is gonna have more of a chance to survive because there's more of a I way. think we forget yeah, how muscles like, work. Oh. For, I, like, no? Okay. Muscles are no, tougher. I, I, but also, I, 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 stomachs I, I, on elephants like, go I down. So if I throw a spear at the side of an elephant, it's like a fat dude hitting from hitting from the side is not going to be the same well, I mean, i'm not just talking but i mean the, the stomach's not going to be the only place that they store fat in their body it's right? not it's fat they're literally they're, they're all they're, over their first it's layer of skin an elephant's first layer their epidermis like this part of their skin is an inch thick all around their body except for their ears yeah so a, a two inch dagger will take care of that <laughs> whatever yeah. we're on that we just shanking elephants huh Bags. From a distance, not up close. Good. If we're talking, if we're talking handheld knives, like that ain't cutting it. But if you got, you're talking throwable yeah, spears, back, yeah. like and ten humans with four spears each. That's forty fucking spears. That's taking down an if, elephant. If humans raided their camp like they did in Game of Thrones, and it was all at night, would win in a hand-to-hand -hand combat. No shot. Uh, ten humans could kill one elephant with just their hands. If it was sleeping, I would disagree with that. How? In what way would they do it? If it was sleeping, no, God, it's just, I'm, I'm saying just, like, like you can't close. even wrap your arms around its neck. How are you gonna kill you it? Just, you stab it. Oh, no, you said hand it. Sorry, I did say that. I, mean, I meant with okay, style, like okay. stabbing weapons. No throwables. <laughs> Let me recant my hand to hand combat. No throwables. Melee is okay, only. Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you that one. But, like, <laughs> if you only have these things against the elephant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. No. Absolutely. I don't think a hundred could do it. Like, because what are you going to do? do what are you going to uh, get uh, through? Uh, How are you going to hurt it? Uh, teeth, maybe. If, uh, yeah, if a hundred people get it. If a hundred people planned a simultaneous attack, I could definitely believe they would easily take down an elephant. Because you got to think, of course people are going to die. If a hundred people who were okay with dying all simultaneously attacked an I elephant. I just think you need 10 Samoans and that motherfucker's dead. Some people, sure. some people, on God. But some people are, you know, you going to get to the it's eyes. Like some people nuts. are going to get to the mouth and... Just climb up in its yeah. asshole, bro. Honestly, the rock alone. Yeah, I'm just scratching it. Anything. Adam. Yeah, I'm scratching no, no, it. Is it a female offense? So you just slide into the, into the pussy and oh, just start fuck. fucking shit up in there, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> Call me Jim Carrey. Uh, do you think that an elephant could lift a hundred humans? Yeah. Like if the elephant was asleep and all hum- hundred humans jumped on top of it, yeah. you think it could stand up? A hundred, a hundred, a hundred and fifty pound to two hundred pound men. I feel like it is. I feel like that's a lot. What's the lifting weight of an elephant? I feel like they would struggle no, with like think fifty. Like, uh, that's a lot of weight here. Was that ten thousand pounds? Lift like a pedestal. So they weighed a hundred. So like, sorry, Nathan. I was just mathing. Uh, that's ten thousand pounds. I, if they weigh a hundred pounds, if each person weighs a hundred pounds, can, it's ten thousand. It can carry up to twenty five percent of its body weight. So then, no. What? Well, yeah, it's not no supposed shot. to be carrying stuff on its back. It ain't built like that. Yeah, so in the in the hundred person argument, right? Um, if they all just jumped on it at the same time, it literally couldn't even stand up. Oh no! In brute strength, the elephants are the strongest mammals. African elephants can African elephants can weigh up to six thousand three hundred and fifty kilograms, and they can carry up to nine hundred. Well, that doesn't read what. Or nine thousand, nine thousand, no, nine thousand, nine thousand, nine thousand. Kilograms like what? Two point. But even still, if nine thousand, even, even if the guys weighed one hundred and fifty, which is light, right? Which is light for an adult male. One hundred and fifty pounds is light. That would be what fifteen thousand pounds. I don't think that like it could like sustain it on its back. But I think like if you were to put like a pulley system and like those people on a platform, I think that. Just like I'm just talking about in a pure fight stance, right? So if the hundred humans jumped on the elephant, it, c- elephant it couldn't. Do they sleep on their side? Yeah, it just depends on like if they're if it if they're able to prevent it from like getting its feet down, then cool. Like if they're able to more or less keep it on its back, then yeah. And the elephant's feet touch the ground. It's like, an elephant can carry up to 14,000 pounds or 7 tons, which translates to approximately 130 adult humans. Yeah, so like as soon as that elephant... Damn. Yeah, like... That's a good argument. As soon as that elephant gets argument. a footing, it's standing Jesus. the fuck up. I also feel like 14,000 pounds is not 130 humans. Do 14,000 divided by 130. Uh, I feel like most... One hundred seven point sixty nine. Yeah, that is not the average way. Depends on what human. country you're in, bro. So we can say it. it's at least a hundred. At least a hundred pounds. Yeah, I would say it definitely depends on the country you're in. Some average. It's not the average size of an American human. One hundred and seven is super That's small. Not a, like maybe like a, like a third world country. So, uh, a small okay, Filipino not, man. Uh, but I mean, a lot of Asian countries have smaller stature. Like the averages of smaller stature, and then you have third world countries where they could be. I as think tall the as they politically correct term is "shithole country." Yeah, I, I would lower. Yeah, long live Trump. I think the world over, the average weight of a human is probably more than 107 pounds. What's the average? And it said. Average and it said. Average adult human, which could adult be a human. I could definitely see a and I feel like women adult. statistically weigh less. Well, the average American weighs. Jesus fucking pounds. Christ! I feel like That's bored. bad. I feel like a fairly no, I think the average height's like five ten. I also feel like one hundred and eighty one is the not average body bad. mass, according to this article. But this is from two thousand and thirteen. Is one thirty six globally, which is not even that's literally a almost a thirty percent increase over yeah, one hundred and seven. If, if the average yeah, weight literally look, look, look if if that if the average weight was one hundred, thirty percent of one hundred would be thirty, and so one hundred and thirty would be a thirty percent increase. So if the average weight is one hundred seven, fifty six and a third chance according to that article, and then one hundred. Like, you seen that Rick Steiner fucking Or the average weight of an American and the average height is five nine, so that says something. Um, let's just call it here because 
I'm gonna have a lot what's of a, what's wrong, uh, what's, uh, wrong uh, what's wrong uh, what's wrong with uh, being uh, five nine and over one ninety nothing at all <laughs> <laughs> yeah damn right uh, I'm gonna call it here because I'm gonna have to add a lot of stuff so try not to make this long cool thanks do you show me this yeah, uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> I'll talk We've after. been Space Bar Podcast. <laughs> Thanks so much for following around. It's been a random episode of a bunch of statistics, scientific facts, valid arguments. Tacos are still made out of bread. And you know what? Thank you for the longest in outro so in the podcast. Exactly. Thank you, everybody. Exactly. Have a good night. Bye or day or whatever you're doing. Bye. Longest minute of my life. You and I will be